Hello everyone, Debbie here. Welcome back to Barossa Valley Crafts. Today we're going to play with some alcohol inks and um, some alcohol ink lift or alcohol lift ink. And we're going to create this bubble card. So I will show you how I have done this. So I'm using Couture Creations um, Upo paper. So you can get it in black and white. So we're going to be using the white one today. And we're going to be using Couture Creations alcohol inks. So we're going to be using Sailboat, Pink Sherbet and Flamingo. And the um, blending solution. Okay, so let me show you how we're doing this one. So to start off with, we're going to put some blending solution onto a piece of Upo paper. Now, for those of you that aren't sure what Upo paper is, it is a synthetic paper. So it's almost like a plastic and it's non-porous. So by adding this onto it, it does not soak into the card. If you use just regular paper, the inks will soak into the card and it won't move. So, and we want these paints to move. So that was the Flamingo. This one's the Pink Sherbet, which is a really soft pale pink. And Sailboat. I'll just pop some on there. Now, there's a couple of ways you can move this around. You can rotate it like this and just keep it moving. You can use it um, with a straw and blow it. But I'm going to use this little handheld puffer thing to move the colour around. If you're using alcohol inks, you need a well-ventilated area because it can be quite strong in the smell. So I'll just keep moving this all around until we've got the desired effect that you like. Okay, just rotate this. And I think we'll just pop a little bit more blue in here. There we go. Now you can, if you're really careful and you've got a low heat hairdryer or something, you can dry it off. But if you're using a heat gun, just use it very sparingly. Because it is a plastic, it will melt it if you overheat it. But just for this, I'm just going to put my heat gun on low just so we can dry it off because we need it to be dry to do the next step. So you'll find it will move the paint a bit more while you're doing it. Sorry about the noise. Normally, you could just put this aside and just let it air dry in its own time. But because we want to get this done, I'm trying to dry it off a bit. Uh, that'll probably do it. Okay. That'll probably be dry enough for what we need to do now. So now I'm going to use some alcohol lift ink. Now this is a um, Ranger product. And we're just going to run a strip of that ink, um, the lift ink, along the edge of the card. And then using a brayer, just going to drag that ink down the card. Now, when you're doing this, don't push, otherwise the the bray will just slide. 
I'm just letting it go under its own pressure and it's just rolling then. Now we'll just clean that off there. And now I'm using a piece of 300 GSM smooth white card. And I'm just going to pop that on there. Just flip it over and I'll give it a good press. Now you can stamp onto the UPO paper but you need to use an ink like a stays on and once it's on there you need to allow it to dry before you do anything. That's why I'm doing it onto the card because now I can stamp on that. So there's the UPO paper. You can re-ink that with the um, lift ink and do another lift but each time you do a lift it will be fainter and fainter or if you wanted to actually I'll just quickly show you if you want to you can add more color on there so we'll do the same colors again so with this you don't really know what you're going to get so you will never ever recreate the same pattern Okay, now we'll just put some solution on there. And then we'll just move it around a bit. So from there, you can either leave it like it is there, or you can move it around a bit more. But I think, actually, I like that one, so I might leave that as it is. Okay, so we'll just pop that aside to dry. And we will now move on to the one that we just did. So now what I'm going to do is stamp into the center, the stamp that I want to use. So having a bit of a Couture Creations day today. This is a glass mat by Couture Creations. Now these are great because if you put anything on them, it just wipes off. So you don't end up with a horribly stained mat or anything. And this is a Couture Creations uh, stamp press. So I'm going to be using Giselle, which is a Lavinia stamp. And we want her in about the middle. So we'll just pop that there. And then I'm using Versafine Clear Nocturne for stamping. So we'll ink up Giselle. There we go. While I'm doing this, I'll just let you know that I have a couple of Facebook groups. One's called Card Making for Beginners and Beyond. The other is called Barossa Valley Crafts. If you'd like to join, you're more than welcome. I'll add the links um, in the description. There we go. She's a cutie. Now I'll just clean the stamp off. And put that one away. So now I'll just take that away because I don't need that at the moment. So just what I've done next is I've just got some circle dies here. So I'm just using one of those to create the bubble. So I'm just going to sit that where I want it so that Giselle is in the bubble. And now using a Posca pen, so I've done a tutorial on Posca pens. So this is a white one. I'm just going to shake it up and mix up the paint a bit. And I'm just going to now draw the outline of the circle to create the bubble. I'll just do it around. Try not to move it. There we go. So that's now done around the edge. So now what I'm going to do I've got some pencils here. So I've got, these are, um, are these Derwent pencils. 
So I'm just using a blue, a red and a yellow. And starting with the yellow, I'm just going to colour in some spots around the bubble, on the inside of the bubble. So when you look at bubbles, you see they have like little coloured shiny spots on them. Okay, so there's that one. And now we'll go for the red. So we'll do the same thing. Just making sure they cover a little bit of each other while you're doing it. And we'll go for the blue. So that will also, obviously, when you mix blue and yellow, give you a bit of green in there as well. It's up to you how many colour spots you'd like to do and where. And last one. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to my white Posca pen. And we're just going to do some of the reflection lines. So I'll just do those. Okay, sometimes dotting it will make it a brighter white than actually drawing them using Posca pens, but you can use anything that's white to do this. Okay, we'll pop another one here. Now, if you don't have um, the alcohol inks, you can do this on any paper. There's um, a brand of paper that has like, um, well, like an alcohol ink type background. And you can just do them on those. It doesn't have to be a background that you've made. There we go, I'll just maybe make this one a bit brighter. So that's now created your bubble. So now what we might do as well, so using this is a white jelly roll. I'll just add some little highlights. I'll just clean the nib off. Just put some little white highlights in the bubbles that are on the stamp. And I might just do another couple of little bubbles up here. Maybe we'll go back to the Posca pen. It might show up a bit better. Okay, there's one there. I'll do another little one here. And we'll do one going off the page. So this is a Lavinia stencil that I'm using. And again, I'll just use the same coloured pencils to put a bit of colour into those bubbles. And the blue one. Mm. Might be a bit harder to do it in this small one. And then just some little highlights. And that's about it. So they're very easy to do. 
So Craft Consortium is the papers I was thinking of before that are already printed and they're like an alcohol paper. So you could do this on those if you don't have the um, uh, alcohol inks. So just a little bit of fun, easy to make. And then, I mean, if you want to, you could even colour her in a bit. I'll do red and yellow maybe. And you can use any stamps you like. You don't have to use what I've used here. A little bit on her dress there. And then if you want to, you can go around the edge. So I might use, so this is a Lavinia Elements Violet Chalk. I might just go around the edge of the card using that just to frame it and give it a bit of a darker edge to it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do give me the thumbs up and do feel free to subscribe and you'll be notified when I do new tutorials. I try and do a couple a week where possible, sometimes three a week. And a lot of what I do is just explaining how some things work. There we go. And that's it. So from there, I mean, you could make any card you like. I think this one is five and a half by five and a half inches. And then um, just put a matte layer on your base card on it to finish it off. I hope you've enjoyed those. If you have, do give me the thumbs up and feel free to come and join us in the Facebook groups. And thank you for joining me. Bye.